Hello friends, today we shall discuss Fog Seal, a cold mix work as suggested in IRC SP100. And in this session, I shall tell you what is Fog Seal, why it is used, what are the applications and limitations of Fog Seal, and also what problems can be faced in the field and their probable solutions. Fog seal is a light application of diluted bitumen emulsion used primarily to seal an existing bitumen surface to reduce raveling and enrich dry and weathered surfaces. SS2 or a tailor-made emulsion is used for fog seal. Fog seal is a method of incorporation of bitumenous binder to an existing pavement to improve waterproofing characteristics of the surface, to prevent stone loss by holding aggregates in place, and to rejuvenate the surface and improving its appearance. However, its inappropriate use can result in a slick pavement. During application, bitumen emulsion wets the surface of the aggregate. Cationic emulsion can displace water from the surface of binder on the aggregate and existing binder film. The rate of breaking emulsion is dependent on several factors including weather conditions like wind, rain and temperature. Rejuvenating emulsion has oils that help in softening of the oxidized binder in existing surface, thus reducing its viscosity. This also improves the flexibility of the binder which reduces the possibility of cohesive failure. This may be beneficial in situations where the surface has an open texture and the existing binder has become hard and brittle due to aging. Fog seals are also useful in chip seal applications to hold chips in place in fresh seal coats and these are referred to as flush coats. And this can help prevent vehicle damage arising from flying chips. A fog seal is designed to coat, protect and or rejuvenate the existing oxidized bitumen binder on the surface. To improve waterproofing of the surface. Third, to reduce aging susceptibility of the surface by lowering permeability to water and air. Fourth, to renew an old bitumen surface that has become dry, brittle and hungry with age. And to seal small cracks and surface wires and also to inhibit raveling with whip of chipping by traffic on freshly laid surface tracing. The process of applying fog seal is simple. Using a pressurized distributor, a light application of asphalt emulsion is sprayed directly onto the existing pavement. As it coats the entire surface, the emulsion works its way into cracks and surface wires to seal and protect the pavement. Properly calibrated truck mounted distributors shall be used to apply the emulsion. Spray nozzles with 4 to 5 mm openings are recommended in IRC SP100. And what IRC suggests that this emulsion can be heated to maximum 50 degrees centigrade, although generally emulsion is sprayed at ambient temperature. The rate of spray, the emulsion is sprayed at a rate that is dependent on the surface condition. And a simple procedure to determine the rate of spray is like this. Take 1 liter can of diluted emulsion and pour it evenly over an area of about 1 meter square. If the emulsion is not properly absorbed into the surface, decrease the amount and apply to a new 1 meter square area and repeat this trial until the approximate application rate is found. Now it may be the case when the surface looks like that it will absorb more emulsion then increase the amount and apply over a new 1 meter square area and repeat the trials until the approximate application rate is found. IRC SP100 suggest that the total quantity of emulsion in fog seal is normally from 0.5 to 1 liter per meter square of diluted SS emulsion which is diluted in the ratio of 1 is to 1. The surface condition or texture 
dryness and degree of cracking of the pavement determine the quantity required. But again, excessive application of emulsion must be avoided as this will result in pickup of bitumen by vehicles leading to a slippery surface. There are a few limitations also. Fog seals are not useful as seal coats on closed graded surfaces without addition of aggregate as they may create a slippery surface. Fog seals should not be used on rubberized asphalt concrete or polymer modified mixes unless the pavements are over 5 years old as these binders age at a different rate. The application of fog seal is also limited by weather. It should be ensured that the emulsion should fully cure before freezing conditions are encountered and over application of the fog seal results in pickup of the bitumen by vehicles and possibly a slippery surface. When excess emulsion is applied, a light application of fine sand on the affected area may correct the problem. Three common problems which can be encountered in field and their probable solutions. The first is excessive splattering of the emulsion and it can happen when emulsion has been diluted too much or bar is incorrectly set or spray pressure is too high. The second possible problem is streaking or drill marks are appearing in emulsion and it can happen because of several reasons. Emulsion is too cold, viscosity of the emulsion is too high, all nozzles are not at the same angle, spray bar is too high or too low, spray bar pressure is too high or nozzle is plugged. So when it happens, just try to see all these factors and you will correct the problem in the field. And the third problem is emulsion bleeding or flushing occurs and it can happen when emulsion application is too high. So these are some of the precautions that can be taken at sight. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any doubt, you can write in the comment box.